Hi Aries, this is your March uh, 2019 reading. Um, okay Aries, the first thing that came through uh, for all of you is struggling to find your happiness. So for Aries, for the month of March, I feel like you're kind of fighting things tooth and nail, uh, trying to find your happiness. It also feels like there is um, opportunity for you to invest either into something, someone, or even in yourself. Uh, there is going to be uh, a fight or an argument that someone is going to try to get out of you. Somebody's going to try to push your buttons. Somebody's going to try to uh, stir you up a bit. Somebody's going to try to push your triggers, okay? And I feel like that you're going to allow them to succeed because I feel like somebody speaks either out of turn or somebody speaks on possibly, I don't want to say degrading you, but um, not giving you the confidence or the encouragement that you deserve. Um, it just feels like somebody, you know, tries to push you in a direction. Maybe it's about a love partner. Maybe it's about a friend. But somebody tries to get you to do something that you feel quite uncomfortable with. So try to hold back from snapping at this person or try to hold back from getting angry or upset. Just tell this person that you'd rather not speak about this um, and then change the subject or leave the room. Um, but Aries, I also feel like in your past, Aries, there was either a communication or a conversation between you and a love partner in reference to either engagements, commitments, um, possibly looking at rings or looking at jewelry. And it feels like somebody was telling you pretty much everything that you wanted to hear. It felt like they were trying to show you, uh, Aries, that they wanted to go into a um, inspirational direction. I'll use that word. <coughs> it feels like this person was trying to show you how much they cared for you at one point in time. Your partner definitely was having feelings for you and at one point in time was believing that they were going to get engaged and follow through with a marriage. But then I keep feeling like, I keep hearing the Queen of Swords reversed, whatever that is, but I, I keep hearing that something took a change or a turn, a turn, an unexpected turn. Because someone may have squeezed in between you and your partner, now this someone could be an ex of your partner's, could be somebody who, not squeezing in as to be intimate with your partner or to uh, rekindle something with your partner. I don't feel that. I feel like they came in and got in the way and created a whole bunch of chaos for your partner. I also feel like they got your partner down pretty much on their knees, meaning begging for uh, recovery of finances or recovery of mental and emotional stability. Their partner was quite harsh with them and quite tough on them. I do feel that for whatever reason, if they were getting divorced, if they were getting, if they were being separated, if they were doing a custody battle, I just feel like somebody pulled the carpet right out from under your partner's feet. And at that point, that left your partner not with a whole lot of money, not with a place to go, um, not with a place to be. Um, it kind of left them... High and dry, so to speak. At that time, your partner was with you before all this had happened. He was with you or she was with you trying to make things better and, and make things grow and mature. And, and um, they wanted to articulate on how they felt for you and things they wanted to buy you. They wanted to show you your value, Aries. But again, somebody got pulled back into some drama that they thought they had walked away from. 
they got pulled back into it, either having to face court hearings, court documents, um, something legal, maybe attorneys, maybe uh, even mediation. <coughs> I feel like your partner was trying to make, not amend, so to speak, but make everything just go away and trying to agree to whatever they could to make it stop, to make the pain stop, to make the agony stop, to make the confusion stop. And now, at this point in time, they had lost all focus with you. So, Aries, your partner, I feel like, was so caught up in the bullshit that they had to deal with. And they literally had to deal with it. There was no option involved for them, okay? But I do feel that they got so messed up in that situation that they were unable to take things back to another level. They were unable to reach out to you. They were unable to reach you in a way to communicate because at this point in time, they kind of got turned off about doing anything with anyone because of what they had just uh, um, encountered, what they had just gone through. It is definitely saying that your partner is still very much in love with you. You still are the one for them. For some of you, your partner may have went out on a rebound. They may have been with someone. They may have slept with somebody uh, as poor judgment. That's all I hear is poor judgment. But they also regret it. But it's too late to regret something that you already did. So at this point in time, they're feeling that you know, they don't really have anybody to answer to because they are not technically married anymore or they're not living as a married person. They may be still waiting to go through something that's legal, um, but they don't feel like they need or must or are forced to tell you something. But at the same time, I feel that later on they will. Later on they will because it makes them feel very guilty and it makes them feel ashamed so you're going to hear about all that <clears throat> but in the meantime aries during the month of march the first two weeks a lot of good things are going to come towards you aries it is going to be uh, an unexpected amount of money or an unexpected blessing coming your way i also feel like somebody will do you a good turn when i hear do you a good turn that could be you know bringing something to your home helping you with something in your home um Somebody may be giving you a huge discount on something that you need to purchase for your home. But I feel like there is so much um, gratification from you coming towards someone around you. I also feel like some very good friends um, are wanting to contact you or it's been a while since you've had contact from some very good friends. Maybe they moved away. Maybe, you know... Um, life in general caused a separation between the two of you with distance involved. Maybe they're in one state and you're in another. But I do feel like some of you are counting all the chickens. When I hear counting all the chickens, it's like you're matching the amount of eggs that hatched versus the chickens that you got left. And for some of you, you're not finding balance between that you're, you're finding the numbers to be uneven um something's not making sense you can't seem to get past a certain situation you know some of you truly have not healed from the past and when i say the past i don't mean your recent ex-partner i mean someone before that you still have animosity and anger and everything else and you're wondering why the rest of the relationships now, uh, up till now, have not gone the way that you wanted them to. Maybe for a little bit, and then they were off, and then a little bit, and then they were off. It was never a consistent thing. You can't tell me that it was because I hear that it was never consistent. But what I do hear is that sometimes you don't even realize that you bring something from when you were a child.
You bring something from another relationship that you were in that was negative. So your fears make you bring something with you. A lot of you, Aries, won't own up to your own shit where you constantly don't allow yourself to take a chance to trust, to take that risk, to love. Um, you're always waiting to self-sabotage. You're always questioning like you're a detective. You're always feeling like, you know, somebody's under investigation. You can't never just accept things and just let it be. And that feels really strong for some of you Aries. Um, for other of you Aries, I feel like you're just, you know, super kind-hearted, very generous, very loving, especially during the month of March. But I also feel you have fears as well. Maybe not as controlling and strong or as abrupt as I feel with the other Aries that I'm speaking of. The ones who, you know, question every single motive. Um, they need every single detail for everything. And that's too much for anybody to live by. That's too much. You're too much doing that. You know who you are. You know, you, you cannot be A, that jealous. You cannot be that controlling. It's not healthy. And nobody's going to stand for it. It's going to continue to push partners away. So technically you have to own your shit if your partners keep leaving and leaving and leaving. Then there's something of yourself you need to examine. You need to figure out where that's stemming from and what, what ways that you can fix that. Now, Aries, I'm not trying to be hard on you guys. <coughs> and again, I have to say, listen carefully, that could be your partner that I'm speaking of. It, you may be sitting there saying, what? I'm not like that. I'm an Aries and I'm not like that. Okay. Okay. That could be your partner. So if that description matches your partner, then you know who I'm talking about. If that description don't match your partner, then I'm talking about you. Own it. For some of you, Aries, it feels like, you know, somebody's going up on an escalator, an elevator. Mm, escalator. I keep hearing escalator. So like in the malls, how they have the escalator to get to the next level. So what I'm seeing about that is that you are trying to mature, escalate. You're trying to go up. You're trying to rise above it all. You're trying to relieve yourself from whatever it is that's been bonding you, holding you tight, um, not allowing you to breathe, not allowing you to experience life and love. A lot of you Aries are staying faithful to somebody that doesn't even know that you're staying faithful to them. A lot of you are doing this because in your mind, this is what you freaking created this illusion that you have this relationship or this arrangement or this agreement when that was never agreed upon. It was never agreed upon. Nobody ever said, and I'm telling you I can testify, nobody ever said, okay, well, while you're going and why I don't hear from you anymore, we're going to stay committed. We're not going to be with anybody else. So we're still going to be a couple, but I'm not going to be around you. For years. Think about it. Okay? So for you to get pissed now, or for your partner to get pissed now, because there's been no conversation, because there's been no talking, because maybe you chose Aries to go and see someone, meet somebody, be with somebody, or your partner chose to go be with somebody, meet somebody, talk to somebody. And if either flipped them out or flipped you out. Whoever did it, it flipped the other person out. For some of you, you can't even fathom the idea of your partner being with somebody else. You feel that that person belongs to you, and technically, they don't. They are not a piece of property. They are not a home that you can mortgage. They are, they are not, you, you can't put a deed on them. You can't do it. I'm going to make it cut and dry as much as I can. If somebody wanted to be there, they would be there. If they wanted to talk to you, they will contact you. They have in the past. When they wanted to be with you in the past, weren't they there? Yeah. 
When they went to talk with you in the past, they knew how to do it. Didn't they do it? Yeah. Some of you had little secret ways of communicating with one another, whether it was leaving a certain item on a desk at work uh, for the other partner to see when they came in. Or maybe it was uh, leaving something um, in the mail and dropping it so that they got something when they got home in the mail and letting them know that you're there. Uh, maybe it was putting something on your Facebook and hoping they'd see it so that they would get the message. Whether it's writing um, a note saying, you know what, I'm still in love with the same person for the last 15 years. I'm still in love with the same person for the last 10 years. I'm still in love with the same person for the last 5 years, 9 years, whatever. Some people were writing things hoping that the other person would see them because they didn't have the nerve to call them and actually say it to them. So they thought they'd write it so they'd see it or they'd tell somebody that was friends with their, with their partner. So either they told somebody that's friends with them or you told somebody that's friends with, with you or however the hell that works. But somebody was trying to send messages through other people, other ways, whether it's electronically, whether it's mentally. Some, some of you were even trying to do uh, mental telepathy, trying to do like ESP, and your extrasensory is off. You couldn't even do it. Um, you can't just lay here and say, oh, I want so-and-so to hear about me. I want them to think about me. I want them to let... Doesn't, that's not how you do it. It's not how you do it. But just know, Aries, that for March, okay, what's supposed to be there will be there. What is not for you to know right now, what answers you're not getting because you're not supposed to know right now, then accept that. You can't write the rules of, of nature. You cannot write the rules of karma. You cannot write the rules of your destiny. They were written the day you were born, the way things are going to go, who you were going to meet, when you were going to be with them, what you were going to do, whether you were going to marry them or marry somebody else, whether you are going to marry or you're not going to marry, whether you're going to have children or you're not going to have children. That was all written. That book is written. Your life book was written from the moment before you were born, the moment before you were born, and it was written all the way. It's a complete story from start to finish. A lot of Aries out there may have tried to take their own life at one time, and you're still here because the book didn't say that you died. The book said that you will live and you will continue on because you have a journey to follow. You have lessons to learn. So like it or not, you're staying right now. So quit the bullshit. Quit trying that stuff because you need to help somebody else in their life. And it's destined that you're going to do that. And it's also destined that someone else is going to help you to get to a much better level. To find much more success and a lot more happiness and love. Whether that's with your ex or without them. But trust and believe, God don't make mistakes. All right? So, Aries, this is your march right now. Hold tight, and we'll see what's happening with your partner.